Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Today I am showing you how I made this beautiful tulip basket. I picked up these tulips at Hobby Lobby and they are 50% off this week. So if you can't get them at 50% off, make sure you use your 40% off coupon. You will also need a wall basket to put your tulips in and this one is in the spring section at Hobby Lobby and right now the spring section is 40% off so this basket was around $8 and it's galvanized and it has um, the gold at the top and the bottom or the brass so I think that's really pretty and then the ribbon is also from Hobby Lobby but the ribbon is not on sale this week so make sure you use your 40% off coupon you'll need some foam your scissors some wire cutters some floral stem wire and I think that's about it to get started for this wreath you're going to need four of the tulip picks and these are really nice full bundles of tulips. They're a much larger bundle than most places and I know they're a little bit more expensive too. And this round foam came from Hobby Lobby and it fits really nice in the little wall basket. So you'll want to trim the ends of the stems and we just trim about an inch and a half off the bottom. If you are planning on adding a bow, now is the time. So this ribbon is 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. And so you'll let out a tail and you'll make a loop and then try to make a loop on the opposite side, the same size, and just go back and forth, back and forth, making your loops about the same size on each side, keeping it pinched nicely in your left hand and then let out a tail and you'll want to have some floral stem wire close by. I usually use 20 gauge floral stem wire and you can pick it up at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, Dollar Tree, places like that. So just get the wire and wrap it as tight as you can around the center of your bow and leave the wire long. And then if you want to dovetail your ends, take your ribbon, fold it in half with your edges to the left, go to your fold and cut away from the fold. And this makes the beautiful V on the ends. You do not have to dovetail the ends if you don't want to. Lots of times I just leave them cut at a slant. But when you dovetail them, it kind of dresses up your bow a little bit. And so now you'll want to fluff your loops. And ribbon with wire makes the prettiest bows and it's easier to work with. And so now I am just threading the wires through a couple of the holes in the little galvanized wall basket. And then I'm going to the inside and going to give the wires a few twists and then I'll cut off the extra part of the wires and fold them down. Hobby Lobby has a lot of cute wall baskets to choose from this year. You can get them that are all solid galvanized with prints on them. You can get them that are wood. Um, so there's lots of options this year at Hobby Lobby for wall baskets. And then next, after you have your bow secure, you're going to want to take your round foam and push it in the basket. I know this is not the traditional way of making a flower arrangement, but this one, it works out great. And another plus is, Whenever you get tired of it, you can recycle it and reuse the tulips and the foam on another craft project. Four bundles work out perfect for this little wall basket. So I'm just sliding them in the front part of the basket and then the foam is in the back part. Now, if you want to add moss over the foam, you could if you're afraid it shows, but four bundles is what I, uh, my basket took. So you might want to have your basket in your hand when you're picking out your tulips to make sure and count how many bundles you need to make your basket nice and full. And then the last thing to do is just kind of play with your tulips so that they look more natural, kind of bend them around so that they're not sticking straight up. And as they, you know, stay in the pot a little bit longer or the basket, they'll kind of fall over and look more natural. And then just fluff the loops on your bow. And that's it, guys. You don't have to use tulips. You can choose whatever kind of flowers you like. You can make this for whatever season you like, but I'm just giving you an idea. I have been looking for tulips at Dollar Tree, but I haven't been able to find any yet. And so I decided to go ahead and splurge and buy some at Hobby Lobby. So I know this tutorial is a little bit more expensive than my usual ones, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share.